Hi Leo, welcome to your What They Aren't Telling You reading for March 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. This is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life. Also, this might be yours or your person's moon rising or Venus sign. My voice is still a little bit out, but it's manageable and I think whatever was going on has moved through, so <laughs> I'm, I'm functional. I'm up and running. <laughs> I'm back. All right, Leo. What do we got here for Leo? What they aren't telling Leo. Oopsie. All right. Leo. They're not telling Leo for March. The Hermit, that could be Virgo. And you see that? Where are we at here? Okay. The Star, yay. Aquarius. Five of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Oh, boy. The Empress, Taurus or Aries, Three of Swords, oh, oh. Six of Wands, oh, the Emperor, Aries, oh, okay, what's going on, Leo? <clears throat> so, why does it feel like you're waiting? Does it feel like you're still waiting and you shouldn't be? What's this star card about? What's this star card for Leo? Eight of Swords. Is that an eight? No, that's a nine, right? No, that's that's also an eight. Okay. Three, four, five, six. Wow. So I got two threes. Where's a four at? Didn't I just see a four? Four. Five, six. All right, so you're not done. It's just, are you both waiting? What do you, what do you, you're sitting something out and your person's going through it. Why? Not, why aren't you there helping them? No, but why, why was this a better option than to be there? Not judging, just wondering what, what is really going on here because you, you, you don't want to be in separation. Or you don't want to be on the outs with this person. You don't want to be disconnected from them. And it's just flipped over. Hold on, there it is. What's this five of cups about? Oopsie. Oh, the magician reverse. Gemini Tor Gemini Aries or Virgo. Okay. What's this Empress about? Seven of Cups. What's it? Whoopsie. Let's see, what's that three of, cord, three of um, swords about? It's just three of swords. Seven of wands reversed. Okay, so this, oh. we've got someone that's got issues with control, like more importantly, handling their business, like issues of self-control, issues of um, managing their own stuff so that it doesn't overtake the relationship kind of stuff here. So what's this five of pentacles about? Is that why you're waiting? Because you're like, you got to get a hold of your business. I can't, I can't do this. What's this five of pentacles? Consider, Leo, that you're involved with somebody that is used to you handling it for them. And so they don't know what to do without your oversight or guidance. And they're kind of hoping to be magically, miraculously fixed or healed or transplanted or whatnot. Because they don't know. Now it's almost like instead of this illuminating, oh, I got to straighten up and fly right. They actually, this is kind of added to the pile of inadequacy and inefficacy they feel in their own life. So this is actually like compounding things for their mindset, their filter that they have. They're seeing this as something else they screwed up or something else that's adding to an already existing pile of something they're ashamed about or, you know, just their issues in general. And that's probably why, because they're coming from that place that it wasn't working with you because any... They already have like their own issues and then anything that you two encountered, like just day-to-day -day stuff that could have been problematic or like you wanted to, you know, oh, you forgot this. It was like, they would just be like, gosh, you know, I never do anything right. And you're like, whoa, hey, I'm just asking if you brought home milk or if you forgot again or like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And so this is someone that's like kind of fragile. Like they're, they're kind of, um, and it, it, it's right that you two are in separation for them to, to figure out what's going on or to try and manage it. But it looks like they're, the filter is them just not knowing what to do. So they're kind of just letting everything fall on them. And 
What's this Five of Pentacles about? The world. What's this Six of Wands about? I think you two have been working on things and I think it's come to this. For the Leos I'm reading for, it's come to this after like a period of trying to work things out or work with the person or help or perhaps there was counseling. Um, but this is, I think this is a long time coming for you feeling like the, the best course of action is to just be under yourself and, and kind of get that perspective and healing separating. This is six of wands for Leo. Temperance. That's uh, Sagittarius. What's this emperor about? Three of swords. Man. I'm, I'm that, you know what? I'm frustrated. <laughs> I think I'm frustrated on uh, your behalf because I feel like instead of this person fighting, they're just going to be like, well, okay, I'll just go over here. Like they're being, they're giving up. And I feel like a can-do attitude and any kind of initiative on their part would have really helped things here because you're the whole reason you have to be in separation or, or why you're just like throwing in the towel is because this is a long running issue with this person and they just don't step up and you just can't keep doing their life. You can't keep fixing what you didn't break, what you don't know half the half of. Um, you can't keep doing that. That was for this five of pentacles. Page of cups. All right. So, it is time for you to disengage and to take care of yourself. Um, this is about you pulling back so you can focus on your life and those that need you and that are dependent upon you. Because this person isn't getting it. They don't get it. They say all the right things. They say, yeah, yeah, I want that too. I want that connection with you too. I really want this. I, I feel it. And I want to go for it. But this is someone that kind of can't get out of their own way because they don't, there's parts of themselves they're just not willing to look at realistically. And a lot of times we see that with people um, that have an unaddressed mental health issue or a pathological narcissism. I mean, but this is someone that's just not realistic about their own limitations and they see it as a source of shame rather than, oh, okay, I know myself well enough to know that this, we can't do that. And the, the, what's sad about that is that, is that, for the Leos that I'm reading for, you're the type of person that if they said, hey, you know, I have to keep the hall light on and I can only drink whole milk or something, whatever, you'd be like, okay, good to know, got it. It wouldn't be an issue. It's like, know yourself so that it's less work for me so we can do this, whatever this is. But this is someone that doesn't know their parameters and instead of looking at all that is befalling them around them as a result of their inaction or action, they feel defeated by it and it, it's a source of shame. Rather than going, you know what? I don't want to live like this. I got to get to the bottom of this. I'm the common denominator in all of these issues. What is going on with me? And this is just someone that just can't. That they're, you know, they don't want to be controlled, so they're controlling. Or they don't want to be a burden, so they, it's always my fault. And it's like, that's the wrong attitude. Yes, it's always your fault, but we can work with that. Let's just figure out why. And I mean, it's not, no, it's not your fault. Yes, it is. This is, you keep messing up. Let's figure out why. Let's be proactive. But instead, this person, they, they tell you one thing, you know, like, yeah, I want this too, but they don't do anything. There's no follow through here. And it's because they can't. If they were really honest with themselves and you, it would be because they can't and they don't know why they can't. This is someone that doesn't understand themselves. They don't know their, their issues. They, they don't understand their thresholds, their triggers. We all have them. We all have strengths and weaknesses. This is someone that just immediately gives up. And it's, honestly, it's a burden and it's a turnoff. Like, you know, you want somebody that's going to come correct, especially with the effort that you, you make in a relationship for the Leos I'm reading for, you're no slouch. So this is, this, this defeated um, attitude gets old real quick because you're the one that's up at three in the morning dealing with the kids because someone's just so tired and worn out because they had such a horrible day. And so you have to be the one, you know what I mean? Like, uh-uh. This is not a partner. This is someone that it's a burden until they get their business together. It's a burden because they're just like you got, it's like a, a parent child relationship more or less, or like a, a brother, sister, a mentorship type relationship, mentee and mentor. 
but this is not a partner. And this isn't someone that's cheating. This is someone that wants you and to be with you, but there's shame. They don't understand themselves. They default to, I can't do it. Or why are you getting so upset with me? Why are you being so demanding? That This is that. Instead of someone going, you're right. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. I need help. Which is not easy to do, to be fair. So they would rather sit around and kind of wallow and just go away and need time to heal and just, well, I don't, you know, be, be a martyr, be a victim than to be proactive. And you can't, that's, that's the deal breaker because you can't be proactive for them. You can't be a cheerleader. You can't make them say, this is someone that's stuck in their own filter that can't get out of their own way to have the kind of relationship that they say they want with you. What's behind that is I don't know why I do what I do and I don't know why I give up and I don't know why I'm so defeated so easily and I'm so sensitive and so fragile. I don't know why, but I am. So this could be anywhere from someone being really defensive and controlling about that. Like, why are you so demanding of me? Versus, I know I have a problem following through. I don't understand it. I need help or I, I gotta figure it out. I get it. This is someone that, because of shame, you know, can be really controlling, really fragile and use that as a source of control. All right. This. And then in case you didn't, you know, obviously I'm being sarcastic when I, the whole voice thing, it's like, that's my best, um, demanding voice or my best, you know, <laughs> I didn't want to give a name to it cause I don't want to, do it. but it's, you know what I mean? It's one of those where it's like, Oh, that type of person, you know, what else for Leo? What else for Leo? <clears throat> okay. So I was going to pull this one, but that one jumped. So I'm going to do both. Okay, so we have three of swords and seven of pentacles. Oh, yeah. Three of swords here too. You're both going through. This is not ideal, obviously. You, you do care about each other. Um, but this has to, this this person's lack of, I mean, they're a great talker and the interest and the excitement is there, but they can't follow through. They don't follow through. They tuck in behind your agenda and your direction and what you want, but they don't follow through. This is not someone that you can rely on because of their own issues that they're either interested in preserving or protecting or their shame or hiding, whatever. But it's, it, and the thing is, is secretly this, they know this, they're not going to tell you this because they're not going to admit half of what's going on, but it leads them to this same conclusion with everybody. They end up here with everybody they're involved with because everybody has the same issue with them. That's pretty that they're either too controlling, too needy, they don't step up, they don't um, help or contribute, or they immediately get defeated. They they can't handle scrutiny or questioning, or they then they don't know themselves well enough to know to go to push back and go no, that's not how it was. This and this. If they do, it's because they're protecting shame or you know what I mean. Like it's it's someone that okay. For the example before, like if you didn't bring home, if, you know, if they forgot the milk or whatever the heck. Um, and instead of them going, God bless it, I did it again, didn't I? Okay, I'll be right back. My bad. And and that's the end of it. This is someone that's, are you serious? Why didn't you remind me? Oh my God. Why do we need milk anyway? You're so demanding. That's That's the difference. Inside, they might be beating themselves up and going, oh my God, I did it again. But on the outside, it's blame shifting. It's, you know, either way, it's taken its toll and it can't be, it can't go on like this. And you know it. And you're ready for the break. There's sadness, but you're realizing that I don't want to have regrets. I need, I, I, it's almost like you're at the crossroads because you're like, I don't want to keep doing this. And I think that you're um, needing to not do this anymore. I don't think that you need, I think for the Leos I'm reading for, you might have a tendency to fall for the whole victim blaming martyr because they can be enthusiastic. They can be really, um, you know, they, they're really big on the, the wow, not so much on the how. <laughs> and there might be this dynamic to where you feel like, you know what, you just have to back my play and I'll take care of us or this, there might be that exchange. It doesn't work like that though. Ideally, you know, it, it would, but it has to be followed through. And this person just doesn't have that. They just don't follow through. And it's taken its toll and I think you feel badly because they might present as emotionally fragile and sorry and just confused and I don't know why I do that. 
and you you think, well, I can help. I can fix that. I can tell you or show you or we can work on that. You can't. This person has to. And because the Leos that I'm reading for, you're a fixer, you're a doer, you're, you're a let's get it done, let's, you know. This is like, oh, well, that's that's fine. We, I can, no, you can't. It's not yours. You can't. This person would rather not know what to do than to be proactive about getting to the bottom of why they are the way they are or why they react the way they react, What what's going on. There's a secret shame here and they know you're right. They know that you're right to want to disengage. Even though you're heartbroken and sad, you're right to question and be like, I don't think I want to do this anymore. They know you're right. What else for Neil? Okay, we got the magician reverse and the magician here. This is, we got control. We got someone, we got control. We got control issues here. This could be someone that's overly controlling and that's why, you know what, I'd rather disengage than to, to live with this madness anymore. Like that's what it's come to, right? So this is either someone is just way too controlling and they don't have the, they can't walk the walk. They talk the talk and they're controlling and they're needy and narcissistic and all that crap, but they don't have, they, they don't have it behind them to carry through with action, threats, promises, all that. This is just someone that their bark is really big, but their bite is like, yeah, you come on. What else for Leo? <laughs> Maybe think of daddy long legs. That's so weird. Okay, I have, I can't remember where, but I have, this may or may not be true, but it's my understanding that the daddy long legs is one of the most venomous spiders in the world. But, so it's like, this is kind of like, <laughs> the bite is not, the bite or the bark is bigger than their bite because this one really can't bite, they can't follow through. Daddy long legs can't ever bite a human because their jaws are simply too fragile. They don't, they wouldn't ever be able to pinch any kind of flesh or, you know what I mean? So it's like, this is a daddy long leg situation right here. They're completely harmless but they know how to leave an impact shall we say yep they, they get a reaction i'll give them that six of pentacles okay so this is as much as you might want to go back in there and um fix it or attend to this or help them you can't things are as they should be I don't think this is about you going in and fixing it. And I think it, it might seem that way that they're kind of, there's this passive aggressive suggestion that um, you've been so hard on them. If you would just like let, if you would just stop wanting or did, but the thing is they've led you to believe that they want this too, or that, yeah, we're going in this direction. Well, you're no slouch. So you want to do the stuff and go see the things and go be here and do that and have this and grow and thrive. You want the connection. They've led you to believe they want it too. So this is not, you just want so much. You push so hard. You're just so intense. You've led me to believe that that's what you wanted and this is okay. So you are right, Leo, to pull back. This is someone that really needs to understand themselves better before you can have a relationship with them. Spoiler alert, before they can have a relationship with anybody. Because this, instead of resolving something and being proactive, they want to blame shift. That, that That's short-lived. This is not yours to fix. So no no going back there and feeling like you need to apologize or make it right. Um, the, you need to stay disconnected and, and move on and give yourself a break. This is someone that knows they do what they do, but they don't know why they do it. And that's the disconnect and that's the issue. But they'd rather be a victim or a martyr and just be like, I just need time to heal. I just need the time to think about things. But they don't do anything with that time. They just repeat and they wait out and they, you know, they make you feel guilty for not rescuing them rather than going, hey, I just need more time. I'm trying to figure this out. You know what I mean? It just, and you know what I mean. For the Leos I'm reading for, you know what I mean. You know this dynamic. Whoopsie. Okay, so uh, <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune reversed. 
And then this is um, Eight of Swords reverse. And I know because I can see my tiny little dot there. <laughs> okay, so this, yeah, you're not mad about it. This is an ending that it just, it's continued investment in this relationship would lead to bad luck or a bad turn of events, like a negative turn of events. It would set you back. It would delay your good. Um, and this is you seeing that clearly. This is you not beating yourself up anymore. This is you being open to new people, situations, open to new ideas, looking at this dynamic in a different way and realizing that it is not your fault. Like maybe you've been led to believe or what you've been buying into. This is taking the time to think about things through the sadness, grieve, but understand, understanding that you've been here before and that because of this dynamic, you're gonna keep, this is what this is gonna be. This is gonna be a part of this if you continue um, but you realizing that that way madness lies and I'm not doing that anymore. I see things differently now. And we got the world here in the five of pentacles. This is an ending and then you reinvesting in yourself, starting to pursue what you want. You coming back online again and, and simplifying things to where it gets to be about you and what brings you joy. <clears throat> what else for you? Which I, I, I like. <laughs> you need a break. I mean, honestly, you... This is a really tough dynamic for anybody. Loved ones, like family members, everybody. This is you, this is hard, so you need a break. Leo. Heart space, yes, that, that's this right here. This is you being, able, not freezing your heart. <laughs> Where do we hear that from? Um, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. This is not closing yourself off. Leaving this before you start to feel like you're just shut down inside. This is rekindling and reconnecting with yourself and what brings you joy. And you need that right now because this has kind of beat you up and made you feel guilty or it's just depleted you, especially when someone won't be accountable for their behavior. That's exhausting. So this is about you reconnecting with yourself and getting back to what brings you joy and taking time to think and work through this in disconnect, not, not working it out with each other. You need to stay under yourself. Okay. Thank you for stopping by. I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope you get the rest that you deserve and that you're um, going to give yourself plenty of time to think about this. Because you're no slouch. And if I'm honest, I mean, frankly, you deserve better. This has run its course and they need to be left to their own devices as much as possible. I mean, I'm barring kids or, you know, extended family and all that, but okay. Thank you for stopping by. I hope this was helpful. I hope to see you in the next reading. You take care.